So we're at our cabin, <clears throat> Sanger de Cristo Mountains. I uh, got the exterior done last time, all closed in. Now we're looking towards the interior on the walls. So I want to do a little short how-to on how to install one by six tongue and groove walls. Okay. So this stuff I got from an Amish mill, fairly inexpensive. Got a bunch of knots in it. It's kind of ugly, but you know, that's the look we're going for. It's okay. Um, so got studs. I decided to put insulation in here. I'm not sure it was absolutely necessary. If you're doing a house, you definitely want insulation and you'd want plastic too as a vapor barrier and to prevent uh, air infiltration. So put your insulation in, get your plastic up, and then you've got your one by six tongue and groove, okay? You need to plan out a pattern, okay? You don't want all of your boards to end in one seam, won't look good. So on mine, um, see I'm going here, here, here. I'm jumping back and forth, but I'm gonna see, keep the same pattern all the way up the wall so it's not obvious to the eye. So make a plan um, and then you can start cutting them. So uh, on this last one, uh, we're going eight feet to this stud here. It's not nailed in yet, but I just mark it. Use my square and my cordless circular saw, cut it. Put it up here. Now, you, one thing you have to mind is this gap because if your board is bowed or there's, if there's something in the way, it'll stand off. Um, but once you've got it cut and in place, I'm using this uh, cordless finish nailer from Rigid. It's pretty amazing to not have a uh, hose trailing after you. It's a little bit heavy because of the um, battery but it's not too bad and so with the gun you're pressing it back and down and nails effortlessly get that in every stud they're two inch 18 gauge brad nails and it holds pretty good uh, they all lock together of course because they're tight and groove and you got yourself a wall, a good looking wall, uh, especially if you can stain it, polyurethane it. So we're going to use on the walls here and the roof. You know, this is a pole building, so there's going to be some shifting, so you don't want to use sheetrock. And I wouldn't want to haul sheetrock up the hill anyway. So this is how to install one by six tongue and groove for your interior walls. It'll take us a few days here, but we will get it hung up. And then once we finish it, we've got a, uh, a nice space here that we can hang out for a week or so during the summer. <laughs>